right, ladies and dudes, this is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobot197. This is my review for a day. And today's review, ladies and dudes, yes, I got my special guest here with me, my good old buddy Pumbaa, who came from the Lion King saga, and my buddy Kenshin Himura, who came from Ronin Kenshin. And yes, I am holding the American flag. Well, thanks to my leg on the left, my leg is taking care of the flag for me. And yes, we gotta celebrate the 4th of July, since it's coming tomorrow on a Saturday, and, and it's time for all of us to respect our beloved home country flag. And the reason why I brought my American flag here, yeah, it's the 4th of July thing, and the reason why Pumbaa, uh, Kenshin, and I are here today, I'm gonna tell you guys about my top 10 most favorite videos that I did so far in the year of 2004. And to tell you the truth this, ladies and dudes, this is my most hardest list that I did so far. It is, um, I, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I decided to re-watch re all my videos again. All the videos I did work on from January to June. And to see which one of these videos will finally make it to the list of, of the best videos that I made so far. And please don't be mad at me if some of your favorite videos did not make it to the list. But remember, ladies and dudes, these are my own opinions of which videos that I did enjoy the best for my top 10 most favorite videos that I did so far in the year of 2015. And these are the videos that I made so far. So let's get this started. Okay, before I can tell you about my top 10 most favorite videos I did so far, I got a couple of honorable mentions for some other videos I made this year did not make it to the list. So here are my honorable mentions. I got my movie review of Moroni Kenshin 3, The Legend, and uh, Boobop 1970's most quick video, Part 35, Making a very sad Taken fan fiction story. Um, the underrated movie tag I did. And um, my top 10 best Pokemon episodes that came from the Orange Islands. And my Unknown Questions movie part 2. And uh, I have some others that I like. But I forgot in my head. I should have put it in my piece of paper. But oh well. The show must go on. So anyway, ladies and dudes, here are my top 10 most favorite videos that I did so far in the year of 2015. And here's my American flag. Okay. Coming at number 10 is my movie review of The Sword in the Stone. I really enjoy that movie review. It's definitely one of my most funnest movie reviews I did so far, but definitely my most funniest movie review I did so far. And I will never forget when I always say that catchphrase, the wonderful, marvelous, bad, 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 oh, I mean, I mean. I like that part the most in my movie review. Okay, yeah, the Sword in the Stone movie review deserves to be at number 10. Number 9 is my next favorite movie review I did is, um, Pokemon the Movie 2000. I will say this is the best Pokemon movie review I did so far. I haven't done Pokemon 3 the movie yet, but I really enjoy Pokemon the Movie 2000. It's definitely an enjoyable one I did so far. And um, the best part about that movie for me was definitely the score. I love the score. Okay, move on to number 8 is Boobop 1987's Most Quick Video Part 36, My Main Thoughts of the Monster Calls. And yes, ladies and dudes, that'll be the next Liam Neeson film that's coming up in the year of 2016. And I already tell you about my thoughts of what the heck I'm going to think about this new movie that Liam Neeson is going to be in. I think it's going to be a pretty interesting film. And I really want to know about that monster. Is he really a good guy or a bad guy? But I'll have to wait and see if I'll ever find that story in the library or Barnes and Noble. That, but that's coming really soon in the main future, if you know what I mean. Okay, move on to number seven is my made-up idea 
for a dialogue of Taken 3. I worked really hard on that one, and I did it on June the 1st, 2015, and I fought really, really hard of making up a good idea of a, a part of the Taken 3 story that should have been in there, somewhere around close to the end of it, is what will ever happen if Brian Mills ever tells Stuart the truth that he's truly in love with his Lenny all this time. And I really love a couple of dialogues here and there that I made up for Brian Mills as he's going to finally say something on Stuart's face. I really enjoyed that dialogue and I really enjoyed that video I did since Puma helped me on this one. Okay, for number six is my main message for the Irish people and their great Irish uh, holiday. Yeah, I decided to do a short video quickly for the Irish people and their greatest holiday of St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I worked really hard on that one. And that was that, um, that video I did that featured my Incredible Hulk t-shirt. And I hope everybody enjoyed my Incredible Hulk t-shirt that I wore for St. Patrick's Day. I really did enjoy that. Okay, coming at number five is my top five of which Liam Neeson movies that's gotta be fixed. And to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, well, um, thanks to all those directors, producers, the screenwriters, whoever these people are, it's their fault for messing up a couple of my favorite Liam Neeson films here and there, like plot holes, or some parts that are kind of messed up, or some parts that are missing from the film. And, yeah, I'm pretty am disappointed about that. So please check out my top five of which Liam Neeson movies that's gotta be fixed, if you know what I mean. Coming on number four is my top ten best Pokemon from Ash's group. Oh yeah, that's another good top ten list I did so far, and it was pretty darn fun. But one of my most hardest, um, my hardest video I did so far for a top ten list. And the top ten list is all about is I need to pick which one of Ash's Pokemon deserves to be the all-time best in the whole entire um, Pokemon saga, if you know what I mean. And I'm glad I put my Charizard and Fernate to be at the number one spot. And since they are my most favorite Pokemon of all time, but they share a tiebreaker at number one. And now, ladies and dudes, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's my top three most favorite videos that I did from this year in the year of 2015. And yes, ladies and dudes, as I respect the American flag, there are three good videos I did so far that deserves to be my top three favorites. And all three of them are the videos I made for Taken. So let's get right to it. Coming at number three is, I got all three of the Taken movies. And yes, ladies and dudes, that's a video I made that on April the 21st, 2015, as I finally got the Taken 3 movie, and I finally collected all three of the Taken films. And that was one of the best short and quick videos that I did so far in the year of 2013. So yeah, I'm very happy I got that one. And coming at number two is my top 10 best Taken moments, the two-part event. I really did enjoy making a video that involves all my favorite moments that I enjoyed from the Taken saga. It was fun, it was enjoyable, and I tried really hard to pick which one of these moments is the best ones of all for both Taken 1, 2, and 3. And finally, ladies and dudes, here we go. My number one best video that I did so far in the year of 2015. And this is my most funnest video of all. So, here it is. My number one 
best video I did so far in the year of 2015 is my movie review of Taken 3. That is my best one of all. I I had a lot of fun with making a two-part event of my favorite Taken movie of all time. Well, one of my favorite Taken movies of all time, but definitely one of my most favorite movie reviews I did so far. And I worked really hard in my two-part event of Taken 3. It was very fun and enjoyable, and that was my very first time I, I decided to add my cat Sadie in that video, but she was only there in part one. And I fought really, really hard to tell you guys about what were my main thoughts of Taken 3. And I will let you know is, I really do love Taken 3. It's a very enjoyable film to watch. And um, it's very darn underrated. And I really want to blame those stupid movie reviewers for bashing that poor movie way too much. I think it would be better if they should have bashed at Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland is the way more worse, if you know what I mean. So yes, ladies and dudes, that is my top 10 best videos that I did so far in the year 2015. I hope you enjoyed this list, and join me next time for my next videos to come. Like movie reviews, anime reviews, top 10 or 5 lists, quick videos, I gotta get back on bloopers, you name it. So, I'll see you guys later, sayonara, and let's all respect this beautiful, wonderful American flag, if you know what I mean. So, we'll, we'll see you all later, sayonara.